when we played Sovereign Dom and Hey, what's up guys? This is Karma. Uh I'm coming to you with my first commentary. So try to be cool with me because this is like I said this is my first ever time and I'm not 100% comfortable with this yet, but hey, I'm doing it. So uh I'm going to be trying to bring trying ugh, I'm going to try to bring more of these to my YouTube channel for you guys to watch. Um trying to get some of my stuff out there. In the background, you are going to be watching some gameplay of me playing some Octane Dom, I believe, with X Miss Gilly or Carly, um, Ginger Spirit, and Tum Tum. And yeah, I'm pretty much just going to talk to you guys about what I've been doing in the past couple weeks uh, involving Ebash and MLG Columbus and a little bit about what my future plans are with um, competitive gaming. Alright, so at Ebash. I played for a team called Gladiator Gaming. It consisted of me, X Miss Gilly, Tum uh, Tum GG, and Vicious ATO. Um, Vicious and me were actually subs for that event for their regular team, Gladiator Gaming. Um, the reason being, I think the other two players had financial issues and they didn't want to make it to a smaller LAN event in Indiana, which is completely understandable. The prize wasn't. A ridiculous amount so I mean it makes sense um, but anyway we went on and placed ninth at Ebash we tied for ninth with I don't know a couple other people uh, we got I think fourth round by TK and uh, I guess we kind of got molly whopped by them it wasn't really beat it was just kind of we got manhandled um, then in the losers bracket very next round we had to play Vex so I mean it just it's unlucky. I mean, you, you face really good teams like that back to back. And, I mean, GG's to them, but obviously we were hoping to place higher than that. Uh, my overall thoughts of that whole event were, I mean, yeah, it was a really good event. One weird thing about it was that they actually didn't have it on LAN. It was over Xbox Live, which everything was wired internet, and we were all based off one host. But um, still, after playing at MLG Columbus, you can definitely tell that there is a slight host advantage. I, I'd never thought I would notice that or even say that, but you can definitely tell. But, um, yeah, I mean, the venue there at Ebash was awesome. Uh, they had enough stations to support, I think, five games at once, and even, they even had a little main stage there for uh, the top-tier teams to play on. Um, well, I guess one thing that was kind of weird about it was it ran super late. Like, once we got knocked out, I left, and it was like midnight. I heard that it went on to like 4 in the morning, so that's a little bit crazy. Um, I think a team that was composed of Solo and a couple other guys, Saint, I don't know, I don't know who was on it. But anyway, they went on to win it and beat DK in the finals, so uh, yeah, congrats to them. But yeah, so MLG Columbus... Wow, um, it was a joke. That that's just that's about all I want to say about that. But basically, it was me, a guy named Asher, a guy named Geo, and a guy named Brayden. And yeah, I mean this Brayden guy, he was cool because he did offer to pay for the whole team pass, which I mean pretty much was the reason that we were playing with him. We all kind of just wanted the free ride along. I guess you could say that. Um, we didn't think he was going to be that bad, but we get there, and we play with this pretty much pickup team, and Brayden is absolutely terrible. He's got awful. And, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's a cool guy, because he did pay for the whole team pass himself, and yeah, that's awesome, but obviously, I mean, we, we went there, and we got first rounded straight to the loser's bracket, and believe it or not, the second day for the loser's bracket... On our way to the venue, we run out of gas, and our car, our car just broken down around right the interstate. We do not make it there in time, and we got DQ'd. So, yeah, I mean, it happens. People do get DQ'd for random stuff like that. People's cars do break down. Obviously, it wasn't what we wanted, but, you know, what can you do? Overall, though, MLG Columbus was really, really cool. There's lots of good competition there. Um, it's fun to watch the pros play on the main stage. Um, lots of free stuff. I got. I walked away with a pair of basically free Turtle Beach XP7s after trading in a $40 headset. So, 
Um, yeah, I mean, looking forward to the future. Me, Carly, um, Tum Tum, and we are looking for a fourth right now. We don't have a set fourth, but we do have a pass for UMG Philly. And we do plan to go there, and we're going to give it our very best. And um, hopefully things work, work out better than Ebash and Columbus. I mean, I don't know. I don't really have a whole bunch more to say, so I'm just going to let you guys finish watching this. And uh, hope you have a good day. Peace out, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even know how much we won, but to be honest. It was like it, we three cast them a lot.